Hello my dear students hope you all fine and safe at home today in this video we are going to discuss the continuation of the chapter the sankam age in the previous videos we have discussed about the sankam age and the sources and the tamil kingdoms chera chola and pandians we have discussed and today we will discuss the local chieftains what is local chieftains local chieftains means just like regional kingdoms apart from the higher kingdoms chera chola and pandya apart from this three kingdoms there were local kingdoms or local regional kingdoms were also there so we can discuss that so apart from the three tamil kingdoms a number of local chieftains ruled in different parts of tamil nadu okay and they were known as velirs velirs were the name used to give to the local chieftains also the sangam age given more information about the velirs or local chieftains or local regional kingdoms okay while moving to the society the society class divisions were also the okay the sangam literature gives a true picture or the true evidence or true information about the society also we can check about the social classes of the sangam age of local chieftains okay the sangam literature speaks of many tribes and other refers to the traditional castes this means that the caste division and the tribal arrangement existed side by side so we can understand with the help of uh with the help of sangam age that the tribal arrangement existed the tribal arrangement caste divisions were there at the time of uh local chief dains and chera pandya and chola okay so through the beginning of caste system can be made out within the brahmana household the larger society remained casteless okay and the tulkapiyam has mentioned four castes namely brahmanas kings traders and farmers ignoring most other names of the people so we can understand that at the case of tulkapiyam tulkapiyam kinds of uh, written evident from sangam age from with we can understand that brahmanas kings traders farmers are the other type of castes were there okay apart from the other okay while moving to the social groups the inhabitants of the hilly areas were hunters and gatherers in the parched zone the inhabitants lived by plunder and cattle lifting in the pastoral tract the inhabitants subsided on shifting agriculture and animal husbandry wetland was inhabited by the people subsiding on bluff agriculture and finally the littorial land was inhabited by those dependent on fishing and salt extraction so here we can get a proper evident or proper information about how the people have lived so mostly the people were uh, uh, hunters and gatherers and also the other were used to uh, cattle farming and other used to animal husbandry other were uh, focused only in agriculture other just uh, may uh, come uh, to do the fishing and all other things okay while moving to the next topic food and dress how they used to uh, uh, dress dress styles and the culture of food we can check grain meat and fish formed the chief articles of food and vegetables milk and milk products were also okay so uh, the people used to just like us vegetables milk milk products were also used grain was husk grain hollows made in the ground just like the grains they used to store while digging the earth and they just make a hole and in that hole only they used it to keep the grains and all while moving to the clothes the clothing compared two pieces of clothes women in high society used corsets and hair paste 
and ornaments were worn by both sexes the children were a necklace of tiger teeth so while looking to the clothes the people are used to wear clothes uh, that we can understand but for the ornaments also were by both sexes males and females were used to wear the ornaments while moving to the ent entertainment what all the entertainment purpose the people were engaged the sangam age people made use of different modes of entertainment during during their leisure time just like music dance gambling also practiced widely wrestling also practiced at the time at the time of sangam age that we can get from the help of sangam age literature about the entertainment moving to the position of women how was the women uh, given position in the sangam society so we can check the status of women in sangam society was not equal that men so we can understand that the women didn't got any high range position at the time of sangam age so equal to men they didn't give any the people didn't give any position to women okay so the men only got the high, high rank position in the society women didn't got much so the sangam society consisted of different kinds of women there were married women who had settled down as dutiful housewives looking after their house uh, husbands and the children so uh, mostly the women are used to didn't go to work didn't go to studies and all they just uh, look after their families and all okay just like uh, women are doing okay just like only the women uh, were done at the time of sangam age while moving to the marriage how was the marriage was conducted during sangam age we can check that how was the marriage were conducted so there is little information about the institution of marriage during the sangam age so there were uh, little about the uh, information we are getting the little institution were there for marriage purpose and all so later works like tolkapi manda kalaviel kalaviel tolkapi were the works from that works we are getting the information about the marriage of sangam age so we can check that uh, say that aryans introduced the rituals and ceremonies of marriage so in that written uh, truly written that the aryans only bought the uh, rituals and the ceremonies of marriage so what all the things the rituals we know that it for marriage purpose it's another ritual for praying purpose another rituals and for householding or housewarming it's another ritual for each pur each purpose or each idea we are giving a different different rituals so we can understand that the thing we are getting uh, the ceremonies of marriage and rituals are introduced by aryans it truly evident that tolkepem and uh, kalaviel are both evidence of, of the literature we are getting the sangam age about the marriage and all now we are going to economy how the people how the rulers or how the people were earned how they have got money okay so they just mostly the people were uh, simple and self sufficient so how much uh, if they are going today's work they are earning the money and they are spending the money from today itself if you are going tomorrow's work they are getting earning money for tomorrow and that spending they don't uh, save much they just uh, live in a simple way they don't uh, live in a leisure life okay and also the people were industrialized and they believed in living well by earning wealth also the people some of the people are also interested to live good life okay and the wealth people included the kings and those who surrounded them so wealthy people also uh, just like kings relatives and all were also included there okay and while moving to the agriculture agriculture were, were also a part of sangam age so agriculture was also the main occupation apart from other occupations like fishing and cattle farming and other all the things we can here shows that in the sangam age we can shows that we can give information about that the agriculture also uh, main occupation to the people of sangam age the main crop was rice and while other crops included cotton ragi sugarcane pepper ginger cardamom turmeric cinnamon and different varieties of fruits also been cultivated by the sangam age people and also construction of embankment and canals of for irrigation was undertaken by the state also many of the construction works well, just like the canals or irrigation works also been undertaken by the uh, leaders at that area okay 
and while moving to the other occupations uh, we have discussed uh, we have discussed about the main occupation agriculture now moving to the other occupations apart from agriculture the people also involved in spinning weaving and other widely practices like uh, crafts spinning and weaving of cloth and also perhaps also silk also people were engaged apart from agriculture the people also involved in the spinning weaving and other making crafts and all okay so that is the coming in the other occupations while moving to the trade what all the trade the people have been done in the sangam literature is full of detail regarding the commercial activities of the people so while open the uh, sangam literature book we can main we can focus that the people were mostly involved or full of detail of the commercial activities in the time of sangam age the trade was more popular at the time the trade both internal and foreign was well organized and briskly carried on throughout the period so uh, it was not it was not an internal trade it was the foreign trade internal trade both the trades were there internal and external both the trades were there at the time of sangam age it is clearly mentioned that okay uh, that's a, a trading purpose we have discussed and also the gold and silver coins from the roman empire found in the interior of the tamil nadu indicate the extent of the trade and also we can the historians found that some of the uh, silver coins which you have found from the tamil nadu it shows that many of the roman empire also came to tamil nadu for the trading purposes and all okay so it is mentioned that there were the, there were done trade trading who the roman and the, uh sangam age people were done the trade because of that reason only the silver coin of roman came to tamil nadu it's an evidence okay so that's for the today so i hope you have understood it's a very simple topic we just discussed only about the local chieftains local chieftains means the local all the regional kingdoms smaller kingdoms apart from the chera chola and pandya and also we have discussed about the social classes and also we have discussed about the people were engagement food and dress and entertainment position of woman position of woman was not there at the time of sangam age only men got the high position and we have discussed about the marriage the marriage system was introduced by the aryans and economy economy also we have discussed and occupation agriculture was the major occupation and other occupations was also there just like a crafts spinning weaving and all the things were at the time and the trade also were there for sangam literature people okay so that's for today i hope you have understood if you have any doubt you can comment below like share and subscribe okay so thanks for today bye bye see you in the next video bye